All right, I'm searching this dresser. Huh? You found something. What is it? That trashy old rag? Th these are... Panties? Why are these in here? And how long are you going to hold them for? Put those away. Alright, let's check her bed. Now what? Huh? Rie is heart-wrenching diary? Alright, let's see what you've got. It looks like the, content the contents are encrypted. It can't be. This is the confidential library? Are you two okay? Something happened, Kyoko? It seems there is a disturbance at the preview. Disturbance? What's that supposed to mean? At the preview venue? Uh-oh. Oh, there's... What? Oh, there's a humanoid eater and a regular? Well, that one's gonna be humanoids. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, shit, man. That sucks. That one that I fought was pretty tough. I can't take on three. It's another eater. Kamishiro has put an emergency stop to the Eden service for the time being. The announcement claims legal access by hackers as the reason behind it. Oh yeah, of course, always conceal the truth. But if that Bakamon manifested before so many people, they won't be able to control things so easily. He's calling it a Bakamon again. Last time I played, he kept referring to the eaters as Bakamon. I don't know what, why that's a thing. Bakamon is a ghost-type Digimon. It didn't appear when he was talking about it. I feel like like this game. I feel like this game was translated, but it didn't have proofreaders. Huh? And that means that girl in Rikishibe. What's this about a disturbance? That the servers are down from an online attack? That's just nonsense, right? There must be victims of Eden Syndrome for all this. Why? Why hide that? Now, now, Yuko, don't be so scared. Your tongue will freeze up and you won't be able to talk. So stop joking around. I... You've been taking care of my brother. That's why this... That's why this whole time I've been... Mm-hmm. A little orphan Yuko, and a minor at that. With your brother in condition he's in, you need someone to keep looking after him. Listen to me, and keep what I say a secret. It's better to stay on my good side, don't you think? If you're going, if you're going to go through life with grown-ups holding your hand for you, you'd better play your cards right. If not, I might plum forget to take care of your dear big brother. Oopsie! Hey, <laughs> just kidding, right? Obviously. But, seriously? Without the hospital taking care of them, all these pa all those patients could start fading fast. Oh no. It would be just awful if that were to happen. People like you, Miss Rie, should be. What did I tell you about making that face? It's all good. Yuko, I think of you as the darling little sister I never had. And there's your brother too, of course. He's been orphaned by our dear departed chairman as well. And so to keep me from simply forgetting anything, you mustn't access my private data anymore. Do we have an understanding? Miss Rie, answer me this. What on earth are you planning to do with the demon hackers? Well, well, you finally asked a direct question. My strategy will be a very effective, but that's a secret. Eden is, is the dreamland my father built. Keep your filth out of it. I will never surrender Eden to you. Oh my god, you're so adorable. Threatening me while trembling and almost crying, so heart-wrenching, I could just die. Oh, hi, Catalan. Thanks for joining us. And, how's the prep work coming along, Akmi? Without any mishaps, no, it's pseudo. He is a double crosser. Well, I guess he wasn't really on our side. We had the desired results from the upgrade, yes? We did. We've nearly verified the theory regarding eater behavior. OMG, you're totally kicking it. And then there was that test. You knocked that one out of the park, Akami. Yes, yes, leave it to me. I will have an optimal stage ready and waiting. That day will be one that you and I will never forget. Oh, OMG, that sounds so romantic. Okay, Akami, let's go. 
<laughs> Why did he stop to look at me, the player? And you, the viewer. He saw us, didn't he? That old guy. He gave a little sign that he'd notice us, and he didn't give us away. Oh, was he looking at us, like, through the screen? Ugh, I don't get it. Is he against us? We're on our side? Which is it? You've got the information? Yeah, it's called Rie's Heart-Wrenching Diary, a library of top-secret Kamishiro information. We've got a perfect copy. We'll wait to do the decrypting until we get back. That's excellent. Get out of there as soon as you can. With all the confusion going on now, you should be able to leave right through the front entrance. But can we leave the eaters at the preview venue? Eden servers are shut down for the time being. There shouldn't be any more victims today. I understand your desire to get rid of the eaters, but think about it. Making contact with one would run the risk of destroying the confidential information. Roger that. TK, let's go back to the agency. If, why are, like, weren't we technically in Eden just now? This is all too confusing for me. There was official word from Kamishiro that an eater appeared at the preview event. Seems that Kamishiro claimed that hackers with malicious intent interrupted the preview. The press is in an uproar reporting that hackers caused some of the participants to develop Eden Syndrome. Oh come on, they've got to be kidding! Blaming anything bad that, hap that happens to them on hackers. To the general public, hackers are nothing more than outlaws and they're demanding that scape scapegoats be brought forth. Put it this way, hackers reap what they sow. Pardon me if that sounds a bit harsh. Still, this brouhaha might make it easier for you all to slip, on, slip in unnoticed. Sudo saw what we were doing, but he didn't say anything. Why? It doesn't make sense. Interesting. The reason why I might be in here. This is what we found in the secret room. Rie's heart-wrenching diary. As I expected, a library of top-secret Kamishiro information. It was encoded with advanced encryption, but I finally decoded it just a short while ago. And what was inside? The Paradise Lost plan. Oh, I was just talking about Paradise Lost when I was uh, talking about Anjumon's design. So we're getting biblical up in this bitch. Hmm? The Paradise Lost plan? Yes, have you heard of it? I've read the book, so I feel like I might know a bit. Just a little bit. Well, this is the first I've heard of it. it seems that Kamishiro was controlling the digital wave to execute some large-scale plan. So these digital shifts that keep happening lately are being caused intentionally by Kamishiro? It might be slightly misleading to say that. Kamishiro's goal is for the Paradise Lost Plan to succeed. The digital shifts are simply a side effect of that. The upcoming large-scale update to Eden is a part of that plan, it seems. Okay, but just what is the Paradise Lost Plan? Yes, well, unfortunately the documentation doesn't describe the plan itself at all. That said, what is included, and this is very interesting, is the name of the individual responsible for developing the plan. The person responsible? Who the heck is it? Cut the suspense and tell us! It's Akami Sudo. Ugh. Say what? That old guy? And there was one other interesting piece of information in there. It's about the first victim of Eden Syndrome. There was a closed beta test run eight years ago before the Eden cyberspace was open to the public. During the test there was an accident brought about due to unforeseen errors. One of the individuals involved never regained consciousness and became the first Eden Syndrome patient. The first victim. Who was it? That is a topic for our next investigation. Can't believe it. They've been running Eden all this time, hiding this information where there have been victims going back eight years? It's what makes big companies so scary, their refusal to stop for something so trivial. That's why this intel is so valuable. We've got to share it with Detective Matayoshi. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, you really gained something this time. Um, excuse me. Is there any info on my father, Satoru Kamishiro? No, at the very least there wasn't anything in the data that was brought back. There was nothing that looked like that in there. The only other stuff was some trashy panties. I see. Sorry I wasn't able to do more. Thanks for your help though. Please excuse me. What? Hey, hang on a second. I might not be able to help anymore. Oh, that's her. I might not be able to help anymore. Oh yeah, I guess Rie's got her by the balls because of her brother, right? 
Hmm, seems like there's something on her mind. Hey, TK, go after her and see if you can talk to her. You heard her, right? Her brother has Eden Syndrome. Someone might be blackmailing her to keep her mouth shut. And then to have Eden, her father's dream, hijacked by that Kishibe woman? Your body being in the state it's in gives you a stake in all of this, too. I'm not in a position to comfort or encourage her, but you... You're good at that, yeah? Go on, then. Yeah, send the character that doesn't have dialogue to talk to someone. I revised my opinion of you, a little kid. You value your friends more than I thought. Don't damn me with your faint praise, woman. Alright then. Perhaps active encouragement is better than verbal. I've got a new coffee idea. This is special. Oyster sauce for extra punch. Or maybe you prefer apple cider vinegar. Oh, I've had apple cider vinegar. It's one of the worst tasting things that exists. What? You wouldn't put that anywhere but the trash. TK, what is it? Was there something else? Did you come after me because you were worried about me? Thank you very much. Can I ask you something? Do you want to return to your original body? I see. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Why am I asking you something so obvious? My hesitation has gone away. I'm going to try to do what I obviously should be doing. I must be going. Goodbye. Ah, oh, Harada's <laughs> death cry in my throat. Oh no, is is this how it all ends? Poor bastard, she didn't have had her coffee. Am I whispering, Chris? Is the sound off? Oh, for Yuko? It's because she strikes me as someone that speaks softly. Because <laughs> she looks timid and afraid, so I speak softly when I'm reading her lines. <laughs> I like to read everyone's lines a little differently. It's fun. Aren't you having fun? Okay, so I'm gonna go look for Nokia and Kowloon. That's what's happening now. She's probably recruiting a bunch of hackers and now they're all gonna beat her up. Because she's an idiot. I'm just assuming she's at Galacta Park. She's always at Galacta Park. She always wants to meet there. Kyoko didn't say where in Kowloon, but... Oh, there's an explanation point guy here. This must be directly related. You're an Akino's guy, right? I have a request for you. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're the cyber sleuth. I'll send the case info head to your office. So was that it? Is that what's progressing the story? Alright, it's a red one. That's how I know it's important. Rebel Tamer, Galactic Park. I want to help Akino, but I am totally powerless. I need you to help instead of me. So now do I have to go back and talk to him? <laughs> when they just give me the run around like that. Alright, back to Galacta Park. Would have been helpful to just call Kyoko. And she could be like, oh yeah, here's the info. And then I'm like, okay, and then just talk to him. But no, he gave me the fucking run around. Oh, you came to see me? Thanks, dude. I'm a newbie in the Rebels. My name's Yasu. I'll get to the case details in just a sec, but first there's something I want to check. Basically, I just need to know, are you a member of the Rebels? What are you? What aren't you? What do you mean? That seems a bit vague. Akno didn't mention you, but it seems like you want to join the Rebels. So please, keep watch over Akno. That is your duty. You're the one who changed her, so it's the least you could do. If you let her get into danger, I will never forgive you. And well, I, I love her, so... Huh? Love? What, wow, what do you mean? I'm screwed. I love her, but I like her, and I want to leave her around, too. Please don't make fun of me. I'm being serious. I don't know what I'm going to do. There are rumors that some of the hackers who Akino invited to join us have something against her. I'm powerless. If anything should happen, I want you to protect Akino. Thanks. Akino is on Kowloon level 1 now. Go and look for her. I got Quizmaster. What for? Answer 20 Digiline quiz corrections correctly. 
Oh, it was someone just reporting. Oh, Earth Attribute. Okay, that was the 20th one, I guess. Cool, and now I, now I can stop looking them up and just guess honestly. <laughs> Although I've, I've been doing that for the most part. When I stream, I give what I think the answer is, and then I look it up. But I was just looking it up for that trophy. Now I can stop doing that. Oh yeah, I forgot this place has shitty enemies. Oh, there's some shit going down over here. Huh? Is that okay? I'm asking you to do your best to watch over her secretly. If there's an emergency, that's a different story. Otherwise, just watch her from afar. That's what a real man does. Yeah, sure. Huh? What is it? You want to join the rebels? You'll join, right? You wouldn't have talked for so long about this if you weren't interested. Why should I join such a shady group? Do it for Eden, for the Digimon! Those problems will be there whether I join or not. Anyway, I'm the last person who could change things. I never got good grades in school, I don't have a girlfriend, I don't have a job. There's no way I'm going to change anything. That doesn't matter. There will come a time when we and the Digimon need all the help we can get, even the little things you can do. Also, if you join Rebels, your grades will get better. What? You'll get a girlfriend. You'll even find a job. Really? I don't actually know. Everyone gets different results. But I believe in you. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> it's been a while since I've heard someone say that to me. If you're being truthful with me. Alright, it's a deal. I'll join the Rebels. Really awesome. Thanks. So she's still running around recruiting, guys. Awesome. That's amazing. I can know. You were have a gift for recruiting, you know. Yasu, coming to a cinema near you. What is that? Uh, yes, uh, yes, we have fucking bonkers. Oh, Misty, why do you feel bad? Don't feel bad for him, he's getting his life together. Actually, now that I think about it, you're actually really pretty. Is it okay for me to date the leader? Uh, um, oh, uh, that, that might be a problem. Oh no, Yasu's gonna get super jealous. That jerk is pushing his luck. How can he just make a pass at Akino so casually? I'm gonna put a stop to this. I'm gonna beat the crap out of this guy. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. Why are all these bad things happening? What? Let go of me, TK. Let me at him. Let me at him. This is great. I'm gonna tell everyone about this. They have to know about how I met the hot girl. Uh, n no, wait. Don't. Uh, hot girl, you say? He? <laughs> no, kid, you did it. Yeah, apparently I'm a hot girl. No, not that. You successfully recruited him. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's great. Are you seriously more happy about being called hot? But of course you did it. Haven't you gotten used to the fact that you're the leader now? Thanks, but we still need more members. Also, also, my ability to lead is not quite there yet either. I still can't face Yugo or Faye. They are too strong. I see. Maybe if we got stronger. Oh no. No, I didn't mean you guys. I'm worried that I don't have what it takes. Not enough practice, maybe? Not enough practice, maybe? Yeah, me neither, actually. All you need is a bit of motivation. Huh? Really? Hmm. Motivation. Well, anyway, staying around here trying to figure out... Trying to figure this out won't do any good. Right. Time to go recruit more hackers. Let's go. Oh. Wow, Akno, so brave, so tender. I'm falling for her. Ah, oh, she's getting away. I've got to protect her. Looks like Nokia is going to Kowloon. We're already at Kowloon. Did that mean level two? Should I leave this place? Is Nokia just recruiting people because she's hot? Is that what everyone's going for? I mean, it's realistic. That's how you get Twitch viewers. That's how you get social media followers. But for some reason, I just can't talk my girlfriend into playing games in a tank top with me. It would help my channel so much. Hey, do you want to join the Rebels to help protect the Digimon? Please? I understand your feelings towards Digimon, but oh, he's a luck-pushing hacker. Are you going to push his luck, too? <laughs> Honestly, doubt the Rebels are going to change anything. That all depends on how hard we try. Well, the team has just been set up recently, right? You guys are no match for the Zaxxons. 
whether we are or not, we still have to try. We have to try. Are you sure? Yes, because if we don't, no matter... Because if we don't, no matter how much time goes by, the Digimon situation won't change. Unknown blocking hacker. Whoa, 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 hold on there. You're that girl who's been going around asking hackers to join you, aren't you? Who are you? Oh, wait, stop. I don't want to get dragged into this. Oh, but wait, wait. Hey, who are you? You let the guy I was trying to recruit get away. You don't know about me because you're an outsider. Huh? Outsider? I am feared, loathed, despised, and shunned by the hacker community. I am a legendary hacker of infamy. Legendary hacker of infamy? Don't legendary and infamy mean pretty much the same thing? Huh? Oh, I get it. You're the annoying comic relief character, right? Well, if you're looking for a moron position, I'm afraid I'm not hiring right now. We've got too many morons as it is. Huh? What did you say? Oh no, this is a bad situation. Say what? Oh, that's it. I'm gonna pound your face into dust. Oh, so you're going to fight me then? Do you want a battle? You think this might you think this might foreshadow something? Exactly. You get it, Gabumon. Well, if that's how you want it, bring it on. Akino is in danger. TK. Huh? TK? Uh, who the hell are you? Are you our backup? Well, I don't have time for this. Let's finish this. All right. It's oh, wow. Okay. Uh. Oh, gosh. This might be a problem. A black war Greymon and a black metal Garurumon? I got... Oh. This is like the strongest thing I've seen yet. Okay, well. I think I might get my ass kicked. This might be a special fight, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna do my best. Zero. Okay. This is a... Black Tornado. Oh, is that his special? I figured his special would be, uh... Tar Dark, uh, Gaia Force or whatever. Wow, that was pretty weak. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing zeros this whole time. So yeah, I'm just gonna... I'll just keep doing that. What? Who is this guy? He's so strong! What is this? I thought he was all talk, but... I thought so too, and they usually are. Wow, <laughs> you lose. We have to help Nokia with all our strength. Oh, are they going to become Omnimon together? Oh, they've just went straight to Mega. That's no fair. I don't get Megas that easily. Ah, Gavum, Agumon, Gavumon, what happened to your bodies? I am War Greymon, and I'm Metal Garurumon. Our desire to help Nokia has made us Digivolve. D Digivolve? Oh, pardon me. Come on, Nokia, let's do this. We will show you our power. So we're just having a race war, the regulars versus the blacks, huh? TK, please do your best. One more time, your health and stats are back to full now. Oh, so you healed me? Is that what you're telling me? Oh yeah, I did get healed. Oh, I have them as guest characters. So they're going to be doing all the fighting for me. Unless I can do damage now. I better attempt it. Okay, I can definitely do damage to them. Oh, nice. I think I have Aurora with some character. I wonder if regular War Greymon has a different special. Also, I feel like I could probably win this battle without them. Now that they're actually, like, damageable. Oh, I forgot. I only have a- he's only a champion right now. All right, well, it's Mega Flame. Still some pretty decent damage. That was not the right choice. All right, now it's the tip to probably finish him in one hit. All right, so that's Black Metal Guru Ramon down. Oh, Revengeance isn't looking so good over there. Well, that was cool. 
I like seeing that. I'm pretty sure I'm stronger than those two Megas, actually. They must, yeah, they must be very weak for Megas. Alright, so he's fire. I don't have any... I should probably rearrange my move soon. I actually, I have never, like, rearranged my move set. I could probably be a bit more efficient if I had, like, a one of every element on all these guys. And I'm pretty sure I have, like, a pretty decent variance of attacks. Okay, he has the same thing. I'm a little disappointed that he doesn't have Gaia Force. It's really cool. It's just a giant spirit bomb of energy. Oh wow, I got their medals too. Those are probably worth quite a bit. That's some pretty decent yen and experience. I I guess I'm not such a legendary infamous hacker after all. You never were. I could have beat your party if they didn't have plot invincibility. Darn. We did it. And thank you too, TK, but why are you here? I mean... Oh, I see. You were worried about me. Well, sorry about that. I can know that was amazing. Agumon and Gavmon got so strong. Yasu, did you ask TK to... Y yes, I did. To be honest, <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's a bit much, but I... I was worried. Also, you don't need to call me Yasu. Just Yas is fine. Yeah, I got it. Thanks, Yasu. Oh no, that's not it. It's eh, never mind. Uh, from now on, we'll we all do our best as members of the rebels. Okay. What? What's wrong? Woohoo! All right. S see you later. He's just happy that senpai noticed him. That guy had a red liquid coming from his nose. What was that about? That's evidence of a direct hit to the love center of his brain by my pheromones. So you evolved two Nokia? And that's your special move? Awesome! <laughs> Girls are like Digimon, we're always evolving. Anyway, Agumon and Gabumon, you guys really turned into impressive looking Digimon. It's all thanks to you. We Digimon can only become really strong when we have a close relationship with our master. I will get as strong as I can to protect you. War Greymon, Metal Gururumon, Thank you both. You were the best Digimon I could have asked for. Right. Let's get pumped up, Rebels. Time to go kick some ass. So that's gotta be an Omnimon eventually. <clears throat> and how was Miss Nokia Shiramine? Well, she's not the kind of girl to give up easily. Anyway, that's interesting about Agumon and Gavimon digivolving. I assume this will make the Rebels' activities even more intense than before. Attention will now be paid to activities of hers that were previously ignored. Maybe she'll be able to change minds after all. Huh? You don't know. Any great historical figure who changes the world is inevitably not appreciated in their own time. They say there is a thin line between foolishness and genius. Perhaps they are right. Well, this case was a success. Thanks for the effort you've put in. Don't laugh, but this year, let's all celebrate your birthday together. Birthday with you guys would be fun. This game didn't ask for a birthday, though, so how is it going to have a special event for my birthday? When I inevitably play this game on my birthday, because that'll be what I feel like doing. You kids and your Digimon are all growing so fast. More than you realize, it's really a lovely sight to see unfold right in front of me. I need to discuss Nokia of the Rebels. Can you come to Eden? I understand. I'll send a formal request to your office concerning this matter. See, that's how you do it. You don't see me in person, send it, then make me come back. Thanks, Hugo. You understand. You get it. Apparently your friend is moping around the K cafe again. I suppose it's a tough age. Alright, this one's red. So therefore it is story. I'm gonna go to the K cafe and see what's up. <laughs> Chris, you wanna join me for reading in silly voices? It's uh, a cute little trivia. When uh, when me and my girlfriend were playing through uh, A Child of Light, I made her read all the female, like all the female lines, and I didn't like pretty much everything else. <laughs> we, I was like, we have to read it out loud. It's fun. And it is fun. And Chris, you're absolutely right. <clears throat> we should do a, a sort of let's play that involves reading dialogue and share voices. Another thing that I used to do as a kid, and I feel like a lot of people did this, was like back when I would be playing RPGs, Final Fantasy IX most memorably, 
I did voices for all the characters when I was like just playing by myself. I wouldn't believe you if you told me, any, anyone hearing or seeing this, I wouldn't believe you if you told me you never did that. Yeah, hmm. I don't know what to do, what to do. Ugh. Oh, TK, how long have you been there? Looks like your many years of experience as a detective has made you a master of stealth. No, that can't be right. Oh, what am I worrying about? Damn it, how could you tell? You're too good at the detective stuff. Well, maybe it's better to ask you about this anyway. Doesn't seem like I'm going to solve this one on my own. Alright, so you sent a thing down to the office. Yeah, I don't believe you, Chris. Tell me you didn't do that. You probably do that all the time, playing your, your personas and your sh Shimagani Tenseis and all that stuff. Probably do it all the time. Oh, the new one's red too. 